One thing that I've noticed most recently is I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys that are younger and you're asking me, hey man, I work this job and I hate it. Like, I hate it, man. My parents won't let me quit. Bro, I want to do something else. And my best advice to that. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm testing out the new Sony A... What is it? A... A7, something like that. I'm testing it with my Canon lenses. Um, I asked you guys on Twitter if you think I should get this. I know you guys like my style, but I just kind of wanted to change it up and kind of get better quality. You know what I'm saying? You guys have been asking me about the vlog. There's a really loud noise that this thing is making, but uh, I've been so busy, man. I was just revamping my channels, basically. Reinventing myself for my own self. <laughs> But I've been super busy, man. As you guys can see out here, look it, bro. Appreciate you guys for ordering all of the mystery boxes. Like, it's actually insane. I'm still trying to figure out how to work this camera, so bear with me. I got it for like seven days. There's this place called Borrow Lenses, and you can actually borrow cameras for a couple days and kind of test them out before you make a huge purchase. So let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, so far, I think it looks pretty crispy. I can't see myself, so if I got a booger in my nose, let me know. Like, I usually shoot on this. Ooh. And you don't have a screen to see yourself, so it's kind of strange. But yeah, this is what I usually shoot on. And then your boy just got some new pickups. Been doing a lot of like photo shoots recently. It's been fun. Um, Stony Boys. Nike Tech Suit new jacket this is absolutely fire i'm gonna do a whole like black friday pickups just a little preview boy i'm just looking into your soul right now because i can't look at myself <laughs> but please be sure to let me know what you guys think down below Today is one of those days where I just feel like I'm not getting enough done. So last night I was up until like 5 a.m. getting those packages ready. I had Mary and my mom offer to help me, but I just, I'm like the type of person that just doesn't want help. I don't know why, I just do it by myself. I'm just, which is not really a good trait to have, but it's just mad busy around here, man. I told you guys want to see more behind the scenes, so that's what I pretty much wanted to turn these videos into. See all these shoes behind me. I am going to sell a lot of these. It's just a lot of stuff. So thank God the holidays are up so I can just get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah, man, still working on just a lot. It's like, you can tell, I can barely even talk right now. I'm just all over the place trying to figure out what to do. But I'm, I ran out of tape. Like I used so much tape. I went through four rolls of tape and now I gotta go to the store to get more. And I figured I might as well just take some packages while I can. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much for placing an order. I tried to make the mystery boxes like as fire as possible. There is still some available on the site, so if you guys are interested, you know, you get the hats and a little bit of everything. I guess in reality, the main priority for today, I just need to get these orders out. I've been getting emails every day and it's tough because everyone is like on me like, yo, some people even the next day, like, you know, you order on Friday, Saturday and Sunday is the weekend. Really most businesses run on a business day so people email me immediately the next day hey man i just placed my order where's my shipping confirmation i'm like bro chill dog like i got you it's coming some of y'all are on it i never actually give you guys a car tour i should do that soon So yeah, as you guys can see, I have a C300, a uh, great entry vehicle into luxury, you know what I'm saying? I'll I'll do a full car tour. Now that we have like cool equipment, we're doing like, like a cool drone shot. I have all these ideas, man. I'm just like, woo! I'm just planning. Everything has to be calculated, guys. If you wanna like know how to be successful, you have to, it doesn't just happen, it's more of, and this is this goes for anything you know success is whatever you perceive it to be 
But for me, my type of success from what I know is like structure. So I've been trying to structure out everything to know every move is like calculated in a sense every video every business opportunity so i'm trying you know that's all i care about put this in the trunk because i ain't trying to get you know bone gang up here be nice here all right we back had a conversation with the people at the post office and it would just be dumb for me to try to get all those packages in a truck and drive them so I can get them to pick it up you know you got to work smarter you know what I'm saying work smarter not harder so yeah now I gotta go get some tape and you know like I said, I'll show you guys kind of the ins and outs of how it all works. This is like owning a business 101. Obviously, owning a business is a lot, I shouldn't say it's a lot easier for me, but it comes easier because of you guys and your support. Now, if I was starting from scratch, this would be a whole lot harder, but it's not impossible. So, one thing that I've noticed most recently is I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys that are younger and you're asking me, hey man, I work this job and I hate it. Like, I hate it, man. My parents won't let me quit. Bro, I wanna do something else. And my best advice to that, what I've even responded, but what I've even said, you have to keep that job, okay? And the reason is you can't just go, co like you can't just quit, you know? Then you won't have any money. How can you invest in anything? Any money that I make personally for myself, I usually invest it. You guys can see, I got a new gimbal coming today. I got this camera temporarily if I like it if you guys like it then I'll buy it but you know I'm constantly always investing in products different merchandise camera equipment you know it's whatever it is maybe you are an artist invest in paint you know like your job that you don't like you have to keep you know because it's basically keep your day job me I guess my closest thing to a job was school you know I hated school but I still did YouTube on the side as a passion. You know, I loved it. It wasn't really making any money like that. I started a sneaker life as the business and that's what really made money that gave me the opportunity to buy cameras and all that stuff. That was when like resale was popping. I kind of wish I would have stuck with the business of sneaker life, but you know, I can still, it still has a pretty good following and there's still a lot of potential for that, you know? But school was that job, school and basketball. You know, I you get paid, you get your, uh, stipend or I can't even think of the word that you get when they pay you it was it was like that you know I hated it my mom even was like fine then just don't go anymore and I, it like I was like oh so I finished and lucky enough working hard through school I still was able to balance YouTube and follow my passion and you know it's it's a career you guys see like views and all that are dropping and blah 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 like all my eggs aren't in one basket obviously i have tons of different businesses so i'm not really worried about that uh youtube is still my passion i love it i love creating content i love interacting with you guys i love being able to inspire you know and that's never going to change no matter what happens i love to inspire i don't care if tons of people just get their five little seconds of my life and judge me and hate on me as long as i can reach you and you know, kind of change your outlook and help. That's so important to me. That's all I care about. That's all it's ever been. You know, the audience came, and I don't know why. Maybe maybe because of my personality. I hope. But you know, that's the truth behind it. You got to keep that job that just sucks because it needs to hold you over to follow your true passion. And you can hope that that passion will take off. Now, it it all doesn't just work out. It's not always glitz and glamour. It's not always a Cinderella story. Some stuff fails. Plenty of businesses I've made have failed and trust me, I've lost tons of money. I've failed so many times businesses and I'm only 24 years old. So, that's another great thing. There's people that are 40 that are going through the stuff that I'm going through now. So, you know, like it's a blessing. It's good to be at this age and have to go through what I have went through. But, you know, the biggest thing is like just trying to find a joy and a happiness and something that you you love because that's all we really want in life you know you don't want to go through life hating it thinking every day sucks not every day is going to be sunshine or rainbows you know some days just suck you, it rains before it pours and i don't wake up every day just positive and everything's okay i have my days where i don't even want to do youtube i don't want to do anything i just want to lay in bed but 
you know it just takes getting up and doing it there's days I don't want to go shoot but you know you just get out and do it and it's done sometimes it's all it takes just just do it it's funny Nike but like literally just do it you never know who you meet you never know what could happen you it's just an opportunity and you can't just let life pass you by and again like I said it's all easier said than done I always have my tough days and rough days it's like I said, don't ever get it twisted. You're gonna have your highs, you're gonna have your lows. But if you can make the majority of it highs, then hey, you know, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Gotta get that Febreze joint. So I got some kind of random stuff. Like I told you, I need to tape shit about the rest of these orders. But bro, you know, Chloe's still potty training. So this stuff, she be peeing on my floor, dookieing on my floor. This is to clean, keep your floor clean. You know, you just put a little bit of that in here. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. You just put a little bit in there. You dilute it with some water and voila, your floor clean. Cause she be just peeing. She finally just got her last few shots. Now she can go outside and like play with Leo. Finally, I was like super strict on her shots. I don't even remember like with tech, RIP to tech. Oh, my guy. Um. I don't even remember him having to get like all these shots and not being able to go outside. I swear he was just outside, but all these weird diseases that they have in this area, I didn't even want to risk that. So she just got her last, she just got her third round of shots that she needed and now she can go outside in like a couple more days. So it's lit. Talk about dog vlogs. I'm gonna hook a GoPro up to her, even though the GoPro is probably like bigger than she is. Such a good dog, man. I know I got a lot of subscribers that subscribe to me. Even people that follow my Instagram just to see Chloe. But if you guys haven't already, she has an Instagram. It's Chloe Schnauzer. Go peep her cuteness. I'm trying to figure out why this kid just randomly dabbed out of nowhere and on the corner. He then came here with the drip on for the one time. It's Tim season. Hey, Chloe. What's the fit looking like? Got the North Face. It's a little dark over here. Hi. Drip season. So this wasn't actually supposed to get here until tomorrow. This is. The Gimbal Mary. Love it. Oh, cut off the best part of the package. Oh. Look at that. Wow. You see that, Chloe? Wow. That's so oh, Jesus, I almost dropped it. This is like, I'm telling you guys, this is really gonna ramp the quality up. I've heard such amazing things about this. Doesn't it look cool? Mm -hmm. About to become a videographer. I'm not. You're not? No. Why? Because. Because what? Are you gonna be a teacher? A dog teacher. Chloe, I'm gonna teach you because Michael doesn't teach you anything. You're talking so quiet. You ever seen that vine where she's like, Baby, what are we doing today? I'm so bored. What? Bored. Why are you always talking like that? How you mad because I'm bored? Baby, bored. Bo that vine, Chloe? You're too young for vine. You're too young for vine, Chloe. Super excited. I went to like three different Best Buys and I sat around because supposedly they had these in stock and they didn't. So then I just ordered it and it's here a day early. It's weird that you can't like see yourself. You can look in the mirror. Well, yeah, I can look in the mirror and see myself, but... It's far away. Otherwise, I gotta look you in the soul. Ronin S. <laughs> yeah. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. The thing that's dope about this camera is it's dark, but I can see you. Tonight is a little crab fest for the one time. Is that all that there is? What? Working on my focus skills. What else should I make? Why does it seem so close? Oh, that's why. Some broccoli? Why is it so choppy right now? Yeah, yeah. What? Wanna be in my thumbnail? <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. You missed me already, huh? Baby, come back. Come back to me. 
She looked like a little koala bear. All right, guys, I've been trying to figure out this Roman like all night. It's just not balancing right now. It's gonna be a lot of trial and error, but it'll be worth it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, just to kind of see what's going on. But see you guys in the next one. I'm dead. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean